Hello, welcome back. This is Kench 1913 and we're let's playing Dragon Quest 8. In the last episode, we started to head to retrieve the scepter. Medea and I may never return to normal. We'll just have to grin and yes. bear it. Cold, isn't it? <laughs> let's keep pushing on. At least moving might help us to warm up a little. Yes, let's keep m m m moving. It's c c cold outside. C c huh. It looks like outside in my house right now. Well, not that bad, but b b b b b boy, it's cold. Oh, boy. So let's uh, let's continue north and find some shelter. Uh oh, new enemies frost wide. And now uh, these guys are probably susceptible to fire. So let's use the sizzle. And let's just have Angelo attack with his new weapon. 79 damage. That's pretty nice. Almost as much as her magic. Let's see how much Yang is in the gulf, dude. Oh, wow. Okay, so we can't really test that. Okay. Bam. Yeah. Enzo does even more damage than Yangus. Jeez. I think the Gov is a tad stronger than Yangus at the moment. Let's use some more. Let's yeah, let's use another Casizzo. And a flame slash, of course, if I didn't think of it. That would work wonders. Yes. Flame oh wow! Yes, Angelo is going to be a monster in this area. Ice creatures, watch out, for you shall die. <laughs> uh oh. Did we make it to shelter? There be no shelter here? What the hell? Dude, look at poor Jessica. I'm gonna have to change the place. I shouldn't have to put up with being in a freezing place like this. It's all Megas' fault. Yeah, it is. He's dead now. So I. I suppose it's that Leo What's-His-Name's fault. I don't yep. know. Dog of all things. Oh, oh true. Oh. Man, you have, like, scales and stuff. Oh, stop your whinging, Grandad. It ain't as if we've got a sweat on you, know? Just yeah, get on with it. It's cold out here. Man, I the beg your pardon? <laughs> How I'm called for! I don't see why I shouldn't be able to say whatever I go, man. please. Roll down his sleeves, yeah. You've no right to talk to me like that. No right at all. And even Angela is pretty cold. I'm absolutely livid. Livid, I tell you. No, I'm going boy. on ahead. Trode acting like a baby again. Jeez. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to change Jessica's outfit because I'm look, I'm freezing just looking at it. Uh oh. Oh no. Avalanche! It's all Trode and Yangus' fault. If they weren't yelling, would have made sound vibrations. It looks like we're dead. No one could survive that avalanche. Nope. Beethoven? No, not Beethoven, but it's a St. Bernard. That's for sure. And he opened the door by himself and closed it with his tail. Now that is a talented St. Bernard. Wowee. So we were saved. Hey, where'd my, where'd my spear go? Where'd everyone else go? My spear's still there. Okay, it just magically appeared now. Well, that's all right. Well, it looks like we were saved by a, by a dog. And let's let's see if we can find our friends because we're missing them. Now uh, there we nothing over there. Okay. Let's see. Okay, so there's where our buddies are. But yeah, there, all there is is a. There's a door over there, and I totally forgot to look at it. What 
the hell. Anyways, we'll have to go back. Hey, doggy. Thanks for saving us, Beethoven. You're a good dog. Actually, St. Bernard's were actually used, and probably are still used, to uh, rescue uh, people in the snow. They used to sniff them out. That's why they always used to carry the uh, the thing on their on their neck so that people could have. That dog over there is called Boris. He's the one who dug us out from the snow. Oh, his name's Boris. What a dog. He's a lot more used than a certain king, don't you think? And he smells a bit better, too. Yeah, he does. He does smell better How than... dare oh, you, right boy! There. How could you say such a thing about your own master? Not, you're not my Honesty. master. Who do you think called for the dog's help in the first place? I mean, I'm just doing you a big favor. That's really what I'm doing, Trode. Don't be getting on me. That dog over there is called yeah, Boris. Okay, so he'll say the He's same the... thing. What a what, dog. This time we'll He's a lot more we'll, used. Uh, we'll say nah. Nah, Trude's I more. heard that, Angelo. More used than a certain king, you say? How Listen, dare you? Honestly, who do you think called for the dog's yeah, help in okay, the first fair place? Fair enough, Trude. I guess if you did it. Nice job there, buddy. So who the heck saved us? Alright, excuse me, Boris. If I ever had a dog, I think the St. Bernard would be, might be one of the dogs I want. I know they slobber a lot, but... Okay, this tea's made from nook grass. And get you all warm and stuff. But where's the lady? Well, there's a lady living out here by herself. Yeah, I'm pretty grateful. I mean, it sounds like there's a blizzard going on outside. So let's check this book before we talk to the old lady near the sink. And now, this is an important item that we need to make for the final part of Dodgy Dave's side quest. We need to make a red robe, or blazing robe, I think it's called. A crimson robe, something like that. Whatever. Seven Sages, Kadan. Okay, so he lived in the... Uh, he must have lived here. Mm, okay, so if anyone could get his stuff, uh, that'd be... That'd, uh, okay, I get it. So one sage lived in the snow area, huh? Hey, look, here's the little lady. Oh, I think I know what these people are. They're gonna be Russian. And yeah, this lady's name is Martha. Martha. Okay, let's go over here. So basically what Nook Grass 2 you will do is warm our body so the cold won't affect it. So... Yeah, that's a nice way to get around the uh, freezing cold temp. Thanks. Oh, look, they're all having a pleasant time. Please, drink. This nook grass tea will keep you warm that's even in nice, the bitter Martha. cold of this snowy land. Thank you. How terribly kind of you. First you save us from the avalanche, then you put us up for the night, and now you warm our innards. I don't know if innards is the correct now, word. that's what I call hospitality. I mean, innards is And what's is the really word, amazing but... is that you helped a weird old monster like him in the first place. You loathsome lowlife. You of all people have no right to call me weird. Yeah, isn't that weird? It is true that his appearance is a little unusual, but when you get to my age, you learn not to judge a horse by its eyes. Okay, hands. fair enough. And of course, I would help anyone who was in trouble so far from civilization. Well, thank you again, Martha. I hope you don't mind me asking. 
But why do you live all the way out here on your own? Of course I do not mind, dear. There is an old ruin behind my house. My ancestors have looked after it generation after generation. It is a family duty. duty. But that will all end with me. I have no one to follow in my footsteps when my life is finished. That stinks. Really? It must be pretty tough living on your own like this. Duty or no duty. It is comfortable enough. I have lived here since I was a child, so it is not a hardship. Besides, yeah, to live to life easy. is not to walk through a meadow. And from time to time, people get lost here in the mountains like you, so I am not lonely. And I always have Boris to keep me company. Yeah, Boris is a cool ah. dog. On the subject of dogs, we had something to ask you, Marta. This oh, will sound a bit Marta. strange, but we're pursuing Marta. a big wow. black dog, and we heard that he might have been headed in this direction. There's a good chance he may have come this way. Have you seen anything? Um, no. I am sorry. The only dog I know about is well, big old Boris over there. Sorry, I cannot be of more help. You should ask where there is a lot of people. If you go down the mountain and go to the north, you will come to a town called Orkutsk. Maybe someone will know something there. So we have to ah, go to Orkutsk. That sounds like an excellent idea. Right then, chaps, there's no time to lose. Right, oh, like yo, leader. yo. If you are hasty, others will only be amused. That is an old saying here. One should not be so eager to go back out into the blizzard. Oh, so we the can night leave is here. coming. Why don't you rest here? I am oh, sure the nice blizzard lady. will be gone by morning, so you can leave for Orkutsk then. Sure, we yes. can leave there. Yes. Wise words, my good woman. Very well, we shall rest here for the night. Frodo and Marta sitting in a tree. K I S S I N G. Yeah. <laughs> they could be a good couple, I think. Yeah, that might not be a bad idea. Alright, now it's time to set off. Thank you, Boris and Marta. Go north from the bottom of the mountain, and you will come to Orkutsk. Please be careful on your journey. Oh, we will be. <gasps> By George! Great Scott! Princess! Are you all right? Were you cold in the night? Forgive me, but I must ask you a favor. If you meet with a man called Marek, in Orkutsk, please give this to him. I guess we can give him what that. Why not? So now we got Marta's bag. Yay! It must He's be full of probably hearing. working with herbs like I am. I would be grateful if you could give him that bag. Spashibo. Thank you. All right. Thank you. And there's Medea. We left her right then. Off to Orkutsk. Toodly bye. Really, toodly bye, uh, Trude? Uh, that's like one of the worst goodbyes I've ever heard in my life. Toodly bye. Where, where did that come? Is that an English saying? I want to know that. Toodly bye. Okay, so, alright. Now. Welcome to, I think this is like called Blizzard's Peak or some, something like that. Anyways, let's equip Jessica with the magic vestment. It'll be alright. I mean, I just, look at her. Now she's got some clothes on at least. Yeah, now the nook grass makes her not cold, makes them not cold. Yeah, we should at least find merit for her. But I'm surprised she just lives by herself. No one wants to marry such a nice old lady. What the hell? 
Yeah, it looks like Medea drank the nook grass too. How about that? Yeah, you, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe you should marry her, Trude. Make tiny babies. And when I mean tiny babies, I mean because you're both small. So let's go back to Marta's house and check it out. Now let's go in here. And check out what we got here. Smash! Smash! Mini metal. Okay, let's see how many treasures we need to get. Three treasures. But we will have to wait to collect them in the next episode. I am Kenshin1913. See ya.